Hi everyone, I'm Enchong D, your friendly budgetarian, and welcome to my podcast. <laughs> Snoop Dogg said, I want to thank me for believing in me. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for having no days off. I want to thank me for never quitting. I want to thank me for always being a giver and trying to give more than I receive. I want to thank me for trying to do more right than wrong. I want to thank me for just being me all the times. We are going to talk about bad habits that prevent us from living a successful life. First and foremost, ano nga ba yung success para sa atin? Success, iba-iba siya sa bawat tao eh. But basically, it's the accomplishment of an aim of a goal or a purpose. Kapag meron kang inaatim na matagal na sa buhay mo tapos nagawa mo siya, parang ang pakiramdam mo successful ka, di ba? Ang sarap nung pakiramdam. Parang meron kang nagawang tama or meron kang nagawang kabutihan para sa sarili mo, para sa ibang tao. That gives you a sense of achievement. Parang pakiramdam mo you're successful. But every now and then, sa usapang finances, ano nga ba yung mga bagay na nagihinder sa atin sa success? Bakit ko binanggit kanina yung speech? It's a thank you speech ni Snoop Dogg nung naka-receive siya ng Hollywood Walk of Fame. Kung mapapansin nyo, sabi niya, for believing in me, he just said yes to himself. To thank me for doing all this hard work, he said yes to work that he, he said yes to. Bumabangon siya, pinagtatrabahohan niya. No days off. Kumbaga, hindi niya inaalaw yung sarili niya na mag-slack off. Hindi niya inaalaw yung sarili niya na walang gawin. He just said yes to it. I want to thank me for never quitting. So he said yes to all the challenges. And he didn't say, okay, stop, pagod na ako. He just went for it. I want to thank me for being a giver and trying to give more. He said yes to sharing. And that gives him a feeling of success because he's able to, you know, share his knowledge and share whatever he has. And thank me for trying to do more right than wrong and thank me for just being me all the times. So he said yes to all these things. That's why he's very thankful to himself about that. I read this book. I'll go back to it when of pag nakuha ko yung title at saka yung author ng book. But basically, nag-focus siya doon sa bagay kung bakit ba hindi natin magawa yung talagang truest and highest form or version of ourselves when it comes to the life that we live in. Basically, ito yung sinasabi niya. In our society and culture today, the strongest habit that prevent us from a successful life is procrastination. Most common forms, checking social media, sleeping, TV, sidetracking on the less important tasks. Kung bagay ito, ano siya eh, parte siya ng Filipino culture na alam mo yung mamaya na or bukas na lang or bahala na si Batman. Magkakadikit yun eh. Sometimes we even say and admit as a badge of honor parang nagiging excuse natin sa maraming bagay yung, yung ganong attitude. But we must be careful because what you think about you, you bring about. Kung baga, kung ano man yung iniisip mo sa sarili mo, yun yung nagiging ikaw. So kung palagi mo nalang pinagpapabukas or palagi mo nalang dinidelay yung mga bagay, ikaw rin as a person, you're delaying your success. We are not procrastinators. Sometimes we are just afraid of the unknown. Ano ba yung mga unknown? You don't know where to start. You don't know where you're going to, you don't know who you are, you're afraid of rejections, failures, and all that stuff. And it's natural. But that's always the case. Eh? When we start something new, until we have built that muscle in our areas of skill, focus, and experience, we won't feel sure or confident to do things that are new to us. So there is no magical time. Yung, ah, Kapag nakuha ko yung ganitong amount, kapag kinikita ko na yung ganito kalaking pera, makakapag-start na ako ng negosyo ko kasi meron na akong pang backup. Or magsa-start na ako ng sarili kong pamilya kapag nasa ganitong edad na ako, tapos kapag ganito na kalaki yung kinikita ko. And trust me, that time will never come. There's no magical time. You just have to go for it. You just have to say yes to it. We must go out there and start no matter what it is the experience and knowledge will come a long way. 
actually the reason why we procrastinate kasi it's sort of wired in our system it's sort of built in our memory in our gigabytes or terabytes or whatever bytes that we have in our brain kasi kunento niya way way back during the ancient times during the prehistoric times yung reason pala why we became procrastinators during the time if we want to eat of course we have to hunt the hunters constantly try to look for a way for them to hunt better or for them not to die when they're hunting so before ang technique ng mga human beings we're just going to throw spears we're just going to throw arrows or we're just going to throw stone to something they want to eat or say for example like a mammoth or like an elephant a huge elephant apparently yung mga hunters before every time they do that namamatay sila parang sila pa yung napapatay kaysa dun sa mga balak nilang i-hunt because they just do it they just throw spears throw arrow throw stones without them planning so now yung mga hunters they started planning They started okay thinking okay hindi to nagwork gawin natin to let's try this different approach okay hindi na naman napatay si Pedro let's try this different approach kumbaga y- y- we're waiting for that time we're waiting for the proper way to hunt and then pumasok na sa isip natin okay now that we plan better all of a sudden the hunters before are hunting better more efficient and more effective so now yung survival skill na yun na instill na sa atin as the time goes by. Kasi we sort of save in our brain kung ano man yung mga bagay that helped us survive. That's also the reason why as human beings now, we like fat or we like the taste of fat. We like storing fat in our body. Because during that time, may scarcity ng food eh. So every time there's a chance for us to eat, we will overeat, we will stuff ourselves. That's why it's so natural for us to keep on eating, to keep on consuming. So, pinasok na natin sa sarili natin yun. Na until now, even if there's no scarcity of food, even there's no scarcity of opportunity, we tend to procrastinate. Because, yun nga yung pinasok natin sa utak natin. If we keep on planning, if we keep on just thinking about the proper way and the right timing, tsaka tayo aatake, tsaka tayo magsisay yes. So yeah, basically the book is saying that procrastinating is built in our DNA. In our early years, homo sapiens who took the time to save energy, conceive a plan, and waited for the perfect time to throw the spear. It's important we break down the hidden reasons why we procrastinate so we can effectively address them when we feel procrastinating. If you're afraid of the unknown, do your research talk to people in that field kasi nga like what i'm saying it's it's already there we you you have access to information to education to collaboration so itong mga bagay na to we're so lucky kasi nga we're actually closer in achieving a successful life compared to people 20 years ago diba or 30 years ago kumbaga we have all this access so Iano natin yun. Let's grab that opportunity that we're living in this day and age. If you are overwhelmed by the options, make a list, narrow it down. Marami pa, I'm sure marami sa atin, pero yun lang yung pinaka yung sinasabi ng book na pinaka kailangan natin i-address because doable siya. Eh. Kumbaga all the things that we're afraid of and the, all the things that we don't understand is basically just here in our heads. Merong paraan meron kang access and wag ka mag-alala because you're not lazy. Procrastination is literally just coded in our DNA. Trust me, kaya mo siyang lagpasan. Just say yes to it, yes to opportunity and yes to the things that okay, you may not understand it right now, but if you give time and you religiously educate yourself, there's a way. It's just a matter of breaking down the hidden reasons that cause us to procrastinate. Kahit sabihin mo na, ah, mababa yung kita ko. Ah, si ganito kasi. Ah, nag- nakakaingit kasi si ganito. Ah, wala akong kumpiyansa sa sarili ko. I'll just quit. These are all things that, you know, all in our heads. There's a way, trust me. And I hope you can address that. I will give you a tip later. I'll just mention this. Push forward. 
keep on going, you learn as you go as long as you're moving. See, do, try not to quit. Be consistent. Do not be afraid of failure. That's one. Number two, decide exactly what you want and where you want to go. Set your goals now. Decide on what you want to be or what you want to achieve. Third, focus. The things that brought me to a lot of good things in life is basically because of focus. I learned that from high school to college. I focused on one thing and it actually worked. Learn how to say no to people who will prevent you from achieving your goal and becoming successful. Minsan, yung pinakamalalapit pa sa atin na tao, yung pinaka-influential pa na tao sa paligid natin are the people who are sort of putting that ideas na will lead you to more procrastination. Last tip ko siguro yung pinaka-effective also for me is total we're we're in the first month of the year we're starting a new year and the most effective for me is writing down your wish list this wish list is also sort of my mission your goal for the year ano ba yung mga gusto mong ma-achieve siguro i have i have seven already na wish list in my vault na nakalagay lang doon and every end of the year Sinecheck ko siya kung ano man yung mga natapos ko, ano man yung mga na-achieve ko sa hindi. And then kung ano man yung mga hindi ko natapos, I'll carry it over doon sa next year. So, do as simple as like this paper. List it down, your wish list. I'm gonna share mine, siguro five. Number one, continuous growth with your faith. Maybe that's not helpful for some of you, but... For me, it is. It's sort of also reassessing yourself in a holistic way. Your health, mental state, financial state, your heart state, your business state, like anything. You reassess your entire life. That's also so- sort of like reflecting on yourself by the start of the year. Number two, I put there as much as possible to be debt-free by the end of the year. I want to pay all my debts by the end of the year. Why? Because kumita ako eh. Kumita ako sa buong taon. Ano man yung i-prioritize mo yung mga bagay na importante. Kasi your credit is also your your words, your responsibility. Your, it's part of your accountability. Number three is going to places, five new cities that I haven't been into. That's as simple as Bohol. I haven't been to Bohol. I heard it's beautiful. And that's part of my wish list 2020. It doesn't have to be international. It can be a local trip. And trust me, if you see the Philippines, that's all you need to see. Whoa. Number four, investing or starting a new business. Just one. Just one. Because I'm continuing all my other businesses, but at the same time, expanding your knowledge, expanding your business opportunity. It can be a, a, a form of accomplishment. Kumbaga, hindi mo kailangan magsimula ng sarili mo, mag-invest ka lang. At least alam mo kung saan napupunta yung pera mo, yung pinaghirapan mong pera. Number five is paying it forward. The continuous act of paying it forward. Because somehow it's related to being budgetarian because when you share your resources, when you share your blessings, more come comes back to you. I hope there's a certain amount. Kahit Kaunti, kahit pesos, a little bit of what you earn to help goes a long way. There's a sense of fulfillment, a feeling of a genuine happiness when you get to share it to people. So, ito yung mga nasa wishlist ko that sort of bring brings me luck also. Kasi syempre, um, we want that, di ba? We want, we want a prosperous year. So guys, procrastination. Be mindful on that particular area of your attitude. Sabi nga ni Rufa May, go, go, go. Marami, malayo yung mararating mo. Jump into it. Dive into it. And don't forget to keep moving forward, to keep swimming. Because 
consistency plays a lot of goodness in your in your life. So I hope you don't forget that. Guys, that's all the time we have for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for updates on my latest uploads. Also, follow me on my social media accounts like Instagram at Mr. Underscore Enchung D and Twitter at Enchung D777. See you next episode. And guys, thank you. I hope you learned something new.